Another episode, Big Bass Dreaming. Look what we got here. Introduce here we yourself. Forever. From Iowa. How far do you just drive up oh, here, Oh man, bro? six hours. Six hour trip into the woods. <laughs> the North Woods. It's What's great. The, first time up here? First time. What's the goal? Oh, to not freeze right now. <laughs> what is it, 40 degrees out? It's pretty nippy. Oh man. I'm hoping to get some big smallmouth out here. All right, all right. Some of the best ones. Current PB? Uh, I was 3-2. Nice. So we're hoping to make this happen. I feel pretty good about our odds, man. Yeah, I am too. It's a little tough right now with conditions, but uh, they say these smallmouth like the dropping temps with the fall transition. So yeah, well, I hope we they like it see. more than us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, brother. Let's do it. Yep, it's gonna be a good time. Yeah, what the f is this? <laughs> oh, my little friend. He's a little souvenir I'm bringing home northern pike that uh i caught earlier this spring dropped them into the uh, crayfish trap and let those little buggers do what they do best and uh, it took a couple tries man because the first couple i like left them in there too long and they ate like all the ligaments and the connective tissue and stuff so it didn't really like stay together but i pulled this one out just in time and uh, hung it up on a tree because it stank because you know it was a fresh fish right and it's been airing out uh, and it's been sitting in the garage all summer it's amazing how them teeth stay so bro how sick is that though uh, it's a little souvenir i'm uh, stoked to get back home one of a kind yeah you know northern memories northern bike yo so i gotta share with you guys the story because my man trevor just told me about this shenanigans he was involved in break it down man put my boat in off the trailer let the wife hold it. Thought she was holding it. Somehow the rope lost, lost its security to the boat. Floated easily, uh, I don't know, what do you think? 20, 30 yards away? Oh, at least. Had to strip down, <laughs> 30 degree weather, <laughs> solid 10 mile an hour wind at the time. <laughs> All the way down to my white boxers. <laughs> I didn't even bother test in the water i just jumped you had in. To, dude, just, you just got to do it yep there was nothing else to do the boat was floating away i just jumped right in wasn't bad in the water when i got to the boat to get out that was when the cold hit dude you're a savage it is so freaking cold oh, man. i had to jump on drive the thing back to the dock naked <laughs> just shivering you know freezing man jump out i had to sit in the truck let the heat run on me for a solid 15 20 minutes <laughs> Just so I get feeling back before I could get dressed. Beat that hypothermia. Still went out and fished though for another two hours after that. Animal. Got it done. That's what's up. Got to do what you got to do. No excuses, baby. No excuses. <laughs> and like, yeah, you're doing good because you want to keep a little bit of an angle uh, to absorb that first initial shock of the right. bite. Because if you if you straight wind it like this, mm -hmm. dude, you just won't stick a lot of them. Gotcha. So you tend to have your hand like get knocked off the handle, you know, and you can't get that forward momentum going to penetrate them. And, you know, I use the wind to drift the boat as much as possible for right. like stealth reasons. You know, and just overall efficiency too. Right. And this goes back to the experience with the little boats. Mm -hmm. It's something guys don't do. It's, it's mind blowing to me. You know, we got a nice half mile an hour to a mile an right. hour drift. That's perfect. I'm always used to have fishing with that deep V, you didn't have a choice but to fish yeah. the land. Yeah. See like everything that's isolated off the bank, like that buoy right there, you know, will probably hold a small amount. Right. So you always want to throw past your target, what no matter what it is. Uh, and bring your bait alongside it to give that fish an opportunity to actually amper. Yeah. 
a lot of guys throw right on top of it. And then once in a while you'll get like a, just a strict reaction by in your face. Yep. But you'll do much better from small bait to giant bait to throw past the target Bring it and over. stall it for just a hair of a split second. Just break up that cadence like it's a scared bait just trying to like hug the cover, mm -hmm. you know, for, and then boom, the bite comes right then and there right. like it's supposed to. Yeah, I was debating like, dang, am I gonna come all the way back here in the spring? And it's just like, how how do I not? Yeah. Like, are you gonna come back this spring? Yeah, we're already planning on it. The boys last night already booked dates. And, oh you know, yeah. My return guys are already trying to hit me up, but I wasn't sure. I was like, oh, I don't know. I'm gonna have a saltwater boat at home, but like, oh, there you go. That's oh, all right. You see me almost one. <laughs> yeah, a good good way to check yourself. <laughs> I'm playing in my feet and everything. <laughs> <laughs> the square out. You're about to, to crack them. <laughs> so yeah, right here on this cast, right here, bro. And you see the way it's laying because of the wind. So there's probably a rope on the front side of it, right? right. So you want to kind of aim it to where you run on the back side and you don't get the rope. Gotcha. There you go. You control your line, you know, bring it down so the wind doesn't catch it. Perfect. Yep. Wait for it. Wine, wine, you got him. <laughs> you know, I love it when a plan comes together. Feel me? This is a good start. Welcome to Wisconsin, my brother. Nice. No, this probably one. <laughs> probably. And also, like, you know, the, the hooking them on the end of a long cast tends to do. Oh my goodness, that was a good bite. Um, tends to um, allow those fish to be, like, worn out by the time they get to the boat. Right. Instead of, like, being super green. Oh my god, right there. Throw it behind me. Yep. Yeah, see the fish flashing? Yeah, for sure he came back for it. <laughs> yeah, nice one? Yeah, not a bad one. Oh, he's super nice. You want the <laughs> no, I got him. He oh, kept. He's hella nice. Yeah, it's a good one. I'm a little jaded. They get bigger. <laughs> We've been fishing for maybe 12, 15 minutes. Nice four pounder. Missed him the first time, came back. Channel my inner Zaldane. Oh, boom. Look how stocky these yeah. things are, bro. Look at the build on them. No a, leg. <laughs> no leg, just. <laughs> You know what time it is. I did feel this guy, bro. Oh, he's hefty. Four pounds? Yeah. This would go four if we put on a scale. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's mind blowing, Jesus. man. Jesus. Yeah. Thanks, homie. Toss it back. There we go. Whew. Two down. Good start. Good start. Dude, they're gorgeous. Yeah, it's crazy. They're gorgeous. Ours are like real bland, just real flat brown, with yeah. the black on the back. They're just real dirty water smallmouth, yeah. right? Yep. Yep. yep.
I was about to just flip him in the boat. Oh, man. Brutal. That was a better one for sure. Was it a little perch? Perch or small bass? Yeah. I, know, okay. I can see him. Yeah, a little perch. See him? Yeah. There's like four of them. <laughs> oh, I got a good one. That for sure looks like a bite. Oh, this guy's got one. Somebody's on fire. Yeah, they're strong bastards, huh? He's just pulling a little drag out. No wind anymore. No more wind. Oh, yeah! Oh, man. Look at that one. Oh, yeah. Woo! Dude, he was way up in them weeds. Yeah, all right. Oh, man. That's a nice one, bro. Oh, That's a new PB right there. He looks like it, That's dude. A Through the rain, sleet. <laughs> Damn near snowed on us today. Oh man. Talk to me, bro. What, what, what just went down? Uh, flipped it up in the grass right away. Came right at it. We fought it for a while, but we got it in. I'm hoping it's a personal bass. I don't think it's a question. We'll put her on the scale. Rain, the grass, sleet, homie. snow. Dude, rain, sleet, snow, all that. Sideways Finally. rain, Finally. wind. You earned it. Woo! Oh, it is, I'm telling you. It's a four easy. How you living, baby? Oh man, I'm feeling great. <laughs> all the way up here through the rain. I mean, it's the like wind. 40 degrees right now and you feel great. I feel great. Your hands are probably wet and cold. Yep. Couldn't be any better. Get in here for this. What? Come on. Just stand right behind me and smile. <laughs> Congrats, brother. I love it, man. Woo! More than happy about it. Well, you definitely earned that fish. Yeah. You worked really hard for it, man. All day today. Yeah, let's get her back into the water.